hi everybody welcome back to my channel um i thought i'd do a bit of a different one today um i haven't done one of these since way back in last october when i started my youtube channel which how quick has that gone um i thought i would do an updated house tour i've been asked for it quite a few times um since back in october which you can go back and watch if you haven't um quite a few things have changed around the house i guess um so yeah i just thought i'd do a house tour i love watching these anyway um i don't feel as many people do them nowadays and i just think they're great i love them a bit nosy um but yeah i'm pretty proud of the home i've created i mean i do i private rent um so i can't change too much but i have done what i can so let's get straight into it okay so we will start off at the front door <laughs> in the hallway it's a pretty long hallway um it's a new build it's pretty new it's about i think it's about six years old now um so everything is in pretty good condition it's all very modern um yes yeah, so let's start off in the hallway long hallway so as you come in you have a door on your right here which is the downstairs toilet which i will show you now so we'll go in here here we go, very simple. Um, I have fitted some new toilet seats. Um, the ones when we moved in were all white. Um, they started to get loose and everything else, so I replaced them with wooden ones. Um, love this toilet bowl holder here. That was from Mataran. Um, yeah, re-diffuser, re-diffuser in every room. Um, little shelf going on here with some hand cream hand towel plant and there's my soaps i'm on the last one from bath and body works in um america yeah and then we've got this mirror up here which i've covered up which you can still see a little bit actually but i've covered up the original mirror that was here when we moved in i did have a big long rectangle wicker mirror i broke that i literally broke two mirrors in a couple of days yeah Bad luck and all that but we'll see <laughs> so that's the downstairs toilet nice and simple handy to have a downstairs toilet okay so we'll go back to here um on the left we have some hooks i will try and tell you where everything's from these hooks are very inexpensive though from h&m and this storage basket which i keep all my like canvas bags um shopping bags in um not food shop bags but like canvas ones for if i'm popping into town or whatever i keep them in there then just as you come in here we've got this little wreath thing with like pampas on that was from primark home um this basket was from wilkinson's i think then we move along here and we have this lovely mirror which was from b m then i have this shelf here which to be fair does need straightening up it's gone down this was such a headache to get up it was unbelievable um but I don't know, I don't know, it does need straightening up a bit now though. Um, the actual block shelf was from Next. Um, this was from Primark, Yankee Candle Rediffuser. I find they're really good, although I do need a new one pretty soon. Home sign from Primark. Um, this little pot was from America, um, Spider Plant. And then down here we have the internet box, which can't go anywhere else because it's plugged in there so i just found this basket to keep it in to stop it falling down and everything so there we go then just there we have a plant in um the basket was from primark home i think that was from the one in manchester actually when i went to see anna um then up there we have another little plant wicker thing um you'll see i absolutely love wicker i'm obsessed with wicker um, then we have these. I have these pretty much. I have this in the hallway, obviously, in the lounge um, and on the landing. These are very inexpensive from Ikea. I presume they still do them and they were about £11 or something. So I've got that there. Um, there's my bag hanging up. Then this rug. 
Um, I've toyed with various rugs in the hallway. I did have like a cream coloured runner at one point, which was just stupid because it showed every mark. This one was really inexpensive. This was from B&M and, um, and it's good. It's one of them like jute ones. Um, yeah, pretty hard wear in that. Um, we'll continue down the rest of the hallway in a minute. So we turn to the left and then we have the kitchen. Um, it's a big kitchen. Um, it is a big kitchen and I love that. So we've got like the cooking area up here and then we've got the dining area here, which I'll do first. So um, do a little overview there. Um, we've got this basket hanging up here, which was from Primark. I keep all my, I'll get it down and show you. I keep all like my dishcloths in there. Handy there. Um, then we've got obviously the dining room table. The table was from Ikea. The chairs were from Amazon. Had them quite a long time, but I still really like them. Then we have this runner. This was from B&M. Um, this tray here, the vase, which I absolutely love. And these flowers, I've had these flowers ages, but I absolutely love them. Um, I think the flowers are from Morrison's, maybe, I think. And the vase was from Primark. Um, candle, I think this was all from Tiger. So yeah, it's a nice little centerpiece there. Fruit bowl. Um, then on this wall, we have the clock. We have um, my calendar, super important. Um, and notice board with all bits on advocacy school and whatnot. Um, this lampshade here was from B&M. Then we have this great big um, coffee bean heart print. That was from when I worked with Optimal Print, I think, quite a while back now, but I keep that there. I absolutely love that. Then we've got a hanging plant up there from Ikea. Now down here, I class this as like my laundry sort of area. This is where I do the ironing and everything as well. So um, there's a bit of ironing in there. I did do a load last night, but um, yeah, that's the new lot. Then in here, I keep my iron, my Lenore beads, my lint roller, my Dettol spray, which I spray like on coats and things like that. Um, ironing crease release spray so i keep that all in there then this little shelf here um this is my mini plant love that um set of little dishcloths from anthropology they were from um, america and in this one i keep my um them bits you put in the washing machine to collect all the dirt and stop the color running i keep all them in there then in this one i keep my um laundry gel <laughs> and then there's my softener down there which needs refilling pretty soon then just there i have my hoover um charger for the battery and ironing board so that's like my little area i find that works better for me to keep all of that there okay so if i turn you around and i'll do an overview of like the the cooking area so um it's all pretty much integrated so we have the um fridge freezer here we have a like a pantry there then there's the um cooker and oven this nice little tea towel love this tea towel that was from anthropology also um basket at the top there full of crisps um then we come to this bit here um we have my chopping boards which i use all the time some spices um should we go through them we have chili flakes which i love to put on avocado on toast some parsley um some thyme and some mixed herbs um then we have some cooking books nice simple ones for me um jamie oliver actually anna bought me one of these and atticus bought me one of these um then this one the leon one happy one pot cooking so I keep them there and we've got this little heart that was from Primark we've got um, this was from Primark also got some chocolate muffins in there um, then all my utensils here we have my toaster and microwave great toaster really recommend this brand it is um, DeLonghi great brand my kettle and also my coffee machine is DeLonghi really good really long lasting um, microwave my little robert's radio which i've had a long time my mum bought me that bless her um quite a few years ago now and yeah it still works as you know good as the first day i had it always switch that on in the mornings then we've got the windowsill here i've got a plant there we've got a lovely candle uh, kitchen garden with some plants in fake plants um, my um, wax burner 
and another plant. Let me come down here, obviously we've got the more cupboards, more cupboard space, lots more cupboard space. Now this, this, tell a story about this. This obviously did have a drawer on it when we first moved in. Literally, probably a couple of months after it come off, I lost count of the amount of times I asked for them to replace it. And in the end, I thought, okay, you know, we'll just, we'll just try and make it as eye appealing as possible. <laughs> so, um, in here, obviously I've got one of these wooden bits with all my cutlery in and then we've got these baskets here which I keep tend to keep things like bagels um, muffins and um, all things like that in there and then we have an integrated washing machine just there then more cupboard space here the sink then we have the dishwasher here um, then we come up to this bit we have my little coffee corner um, we've got my washing up this is really good i really was pleased with this i keep all the washing up liquid in here um, and you just like squeeze it down into the sink really really handy that's from zara um kettle delonghi again excellent really recommend the brand um got a little print up here coffee is always a good idea then we've got a shelf up here with my coffee beans instant coffee because just sometimes you have to do instant coffee time you know um tea bags my um coffee cups and a bead diffuser which also needs replacing and then my amazing coffee machine which Anastasia bought me which best thing ever we've got a couple of prints up here again coffee related yeah then we have recycling in there and the normal bin there which does actually need replaced and I do need to get over to Ikea at some point and up there we've got some storage basket up there we've got a plant we've got the gas safety alarm thing um so yeah that is the kitchen nice and big you know functional all of that so we come back out into the hallway this is where we were so i'll take you into the lounge um but obviously then we've got these stairs that go up stairs obviously um, so we come down here, we've got this, um, like wicker, it's like a plant holder, shelf in type thing, that was from Ikea, all the plants were from Ikea, they're all fake, um, but the little, like, baskets, they were from Tiger, I think, so was this little tray there, um, this Ibiza book, which I got from Selfridges when I went to London with Anna, quite a while back now, um, yep. Yeah favorite thing ever um a little tea light holder there but i never put like the real tea lights in um i always put the fake ones which you can get from amazon i think this was from h&m home so look that little bit there then we've got this hanging this was from urban outfitters we've got some prints here they were from when i worked with decenio then we come further down here we've got this um like wicker plant pot that was from matalan and this fake plant. I do have some real plants, like the spider one back at the on the shelf where you come in. That was real. And I've got a couple of I've got three real ones in here actually. Okay, so now we come into the main like living area, the lounge. It's pretty big. We've got these nice big patio doors, lets the light in. Um, you can have them wide open when it's really hot. So okay, we'll come in here. I'll do a little overview. I show this room a lot on my Instagram. Um, okay, so if we go, I think we'll start to the left and we'll work our way around. So we come to the left, we have my desk. Um, very important place. Um, the desk was from um, B&M quite a while ago now. They may still have it. The wicker chair was from Argos. Um, this little J here, that was from Next. Obviously all the normal desk stuff going on here um and then we have some prints this one was from h&m love that this one was from um decenio do you know what i bought that when we first moved in and i still love it just as much it's twiggy um the moon phrases um i do i think i want to replace that one um not sure yet and then that one that was from Decenio also. Then we have a little plant up there. Um, I think that was from Habitat. Then we come down here. 
and we have this little um again with a fake tea light in it that was from b&m um the one behind was from paper chase we have this crystal lamp which my mum bought me um then we have the google and we have some pictures of the children just there um obviously we've got the calyx units um with the storage in all Atticus's bits are in there but as he gets older they can be sorted out um then go along here we have this magazine rack that was from B&M I did pay I think I paid about 25 pounds for this magazine rack something like that or 18 or I, or I can't something but now I do know it's half price this magazine rack in B&M I think it's nine pounds now or something so yeah then this which was from Aldi this is handy because when I'm sitting here I can put bits on there when I'm doing work and whatnot okay so we'll walk around here I'll do the sofas next I guess um these two sofas I bought these I can't even remember how long ago I bought them they're relatively new um I'd had the same sofas for years and years and years and my sofa the sofas were the one of the first things I really wanted to replace. Um, these were from their Habitat, but they were from Argos. Um, they were very, I think, literally, honestly, they were about £300 each, which was really good. They've got the wooden legs. Um, they tend to show up more as being quite blue in photos and on videos, but they're grey. <laughs> but they do look blue, but they are grey. They're like a dark grey. Okay, so then just here we have this little side table with the pin legs. That was from Dunelms. Um, the lamp there was from Primark Home, the little vase, Primark. And that little one there with another fake tea light in was from B&M. Um, we've got a throw here. These cushions. I'm not going to recommend these cushions, to be honest. They do need replacing because constantly, as you can see, the little bits come off all the time. I thought they'd be soft, and they are really soft, but the bits come off all the time. They were from B&M, so I do need to get some different ones. And over here, we've got another big print. That was from Optimal Print again. And these are my real plants here. So we've got this one, and we've got this one. I think both of them were from B&M. Um, they're my real ones, and we've got another real one over there. Then we've got, obviously, Telly, Standard. Um, the TV unit, this unit was from, I believe I got this from eBay, it's a company on eBay or something with the pin legs again, um, we've got this little tea light holder here, um, that's in like the, the same as the rock lamp crystal, um, we've obviously got PlayStation switch, storage baskets, this little fire, which I do tend to still put the flames on, obviously not the heating part of it, but I still I do sometimes put the flames on at night still, but it's great in the winter. That was from Dunelms. And we have the rug in the middle of the room. That was from B&M. Then we have this table. Um, this table is from Ikea. I've had it a long time, but still love it. So I won't get rid of this because I absolutely love this table. And I think Ikea still do. They still do it. Um, then we've got this tray. The tray was from Dunelms. Um, the plant pot there was from H&M Home. Um, obviously we've got the candles and we've got another rediffuser which I feel this one almost needs replacing too. Then we've got some books down there. Um, then we have this store here. This was from Urban Outfitters. I love Urban Outfitters for like wicker homeware and that they do some really, really nice things. That's a handy store there. Atticus puts a lot of his stuff on there. Um, then obviously we've got the big patio doors and there's the garden um, these curtains these are quite new um, they're not 100% linen if I show you but they're part like linen um, a lot thicker than the ones we used to have then I've got this hanging plant here I think the holder was from I think the holder was from Habitat and I'll give you a little peek into the garden there very small garden but cosy so then we'll come around here and then in the corner we have a basket full of blankets um, the basket was from B&M then we have the other sofa here we have these two um, mirrors here hi I do want to replace these and I keep looking about for something 
I've had them there a long time and I do want to replace them but I'm not sure what with or with a different type of mirror but that can wait um, and then we come over here um, behind the sofa we have a basket Atticus's little DVD player um, and DVDs down there then we come here shelf here with another plant um, and another wax melt burner and here we have my vinyl we've got my record player which was from urban outfitters so was the stand um, and all of my vinyl there and up here we have this shelf which the shelf was from matalan and that is half price at the moment as well um, i did see them in there the other day then we've got this vase here with some flowers in that was from next this is from H&M Home and this here was a piece of, I can't remember where I got it from, it was like a spiritual type shop and it's a certain piece of wood and I always keep it on there, um, good energy and all of that. Then behind the door there we have my chargers and all stuff like that which will eventually go into the office when that's done but that's a job for another day. So there's an overview of the lounge, I think I've shown everything, or maybe I didn't, no, over here um, is this plant stand, which I got from Ikea, and that's my other real plant there, that's a pretty new one there, so yeah, that is the lounge, so we'll make our way back down the hallway, then we have this door here on the left, which I won't show you because it's shameful. That is my next project that needs sorting. That is a cupboard where we store all Atticus's board games, all his stationery, his colouring books, his paints, the hoover, um, all bits like that. And that needs to be sorted. I want to get that done before I go on holiday. Um, so yeah, that is the hallway. And just here, another door. We have a lot of doors in this house. This is the um, coat and shoe cupboard, which does need sorting. It's not as bad as that one but it does need sorting. So, we'll go up the stairs now. So we have this plant here in this basket and we have some prints up here. Make a wish. Good vibes only. <laughs> this one here. And this one here. They were all from Decenio. Then we've got a little shelf here, we've got this plant here, that's from Wilkinson's, and another reed diffuser, which hasn't run out. <laughs> okay, then we have the landing. Okay, so we've got this plant here facing you when you come up the stairs. Um, we've got a mirror here, which um, was from Tiger. Then we've got some plates on the wall there. So if we walk along here, again, it's quite a long landing. We've got another one of them, um, lampshades for my Ikea then we come along here so this room oh, just here we've got um hanging thing that was very recent from Primark love the rust colour in that um, so this room here is a storage room at the moment um, this used to be Atticus's room so if you watched the old house tour from back in October this was Atticus's room um, and we've switched rooms um, so at the moment this is complete storage I've kept this desk which is Anna's old desk which was in her bedroom because this eventually will be an office slash where Anna will sleep when she comes home to stay so I'm going to get like a sofa bed so it'll be a sofa in the daytime when it's an office, then it'll turn into a bed for Anna. So I've kept that. I've kept these shelves just in case I do need them when it is turned into an office, um, but not sure yet. At the corner, we have Christmas decorations. <laughs> all there. Um, all this stuff here, obviously suitcases, and all of this is stuff for Ibiza, which obviously will be sorted in the next couple of weeks. Um, we have a fan, we have the floor cleaner, um, we have some baskets which currently are not in use, um, we have this shelf unit which I'm actually going to use, you know I said I, the cupboard needs to be sorted where Atticus is all games and that are kept, I'm going to put that together and kick, put that in there. Um, this cupboard is the cupboard of doom, this is. <laughs> 
this is full of Atticus's toys, which again will be sorted. Um, and eventually when that is done, obviously the suitcases will be kept in there <coughs> and the Christmas decorations. So my plan for this room is an office slash sofa bed um, and it will look completely different, but just not yet. <laughs> um, right, so then we have Atticus's room. So, which used to be, if you look back on the old house tour, was my bedroom. So we come in here, um, we've got all these cuddly toys here, not all of them, some of them are in that cupboard of doom, which I said about, but these are his favourite ones. He's got all his books and his pop figures. Um, he's now got a basketball, um, basketball net, <laughs> which I got him, he loves that. He absolutely loves that. He's got his little basketball down there. Um, got his wardrobe. These were all from um, Ikea, the bookshelves and the wardrobe. And then we come along here. Got his windowsill with all his bits on. His big stormtrooper. These prints, these were from Decenio. And we come up here. There's his bed and his storage drawers they were from ikea also um his pokemon he started to collect pokemon cards and there's his um star wars pop figures so that is atticus's room so next as we walk down on the left we have the main bathroom so let's put the light on here so this is the main bathroom obviously got the bath in obviously um probably the bathroom that's used the most um so if we come up here we've got a relaxed sign we've got a wax melt burner um plant tanning mitt bath <laughs> um got some bits on there we've got this now i did I'll show you this, it's the liqueur, so it's Aldi's version of um, the Laura Mercier honey. And even, you can smell the honey and it's lovely and it produces lots of bubbles, but it, it's nowhere near as strong as the Laura Mercier one, but it's a lot, lot cheaper. So I'll finish that up. Um, we've got some plants up there, um, candle, toilet rolls, toilet, again, I put a wooden one on there. Um, nice heart there, that was from Matalan, um, sink, <laughs> basket, it's normally where we keep all our lush stuff. We've actually got one little lush bath bomb left there, um, which we're both using at the moment. I really need to get to lush. Normally this is full with bath bombs um, for Atticus, but really need to get there. And here we have, um, obviously I keep some stuff in my ensuite, but I keep stuff here as well so like all skincare body care all down there and then uh mirror there so that is the main bathroom i've got a little plant down there bath mat bath all my bath mats are from b&m um so yeah that's the main bathroom so then we will make our way down here Another cupboard, this is the airing cupboard. Obviously keep all clean towels, clean bedding, um, toiletries that I'm not using yet. So like my stack of like, mine and Atticus's toiletries and stuff. Um, then down here we have the linen bin, which has a little bit of washing in. Um, and then we have my room. Um, so if you watched the old house tour, this was previously, um, it was Anastasia's bedroom, then it turned into a dumping ground. And um, so I decided I'm gonna have this room. Um, so as you can see, it's got a lovely view out there. So we'll start, I did do a bedroom tour, so I'll do a very brief overview. Um, so we have that lovely um, lampshade up there. That was from um, Dunelms. Nice big bed. Um, the bedding was from Primark, B&M. Um, then we have these wicker tables, um, one that side and one that side. They were from B&M also. Um, 
I'll keep a little basket down here with my booking, which I have nearly finished. Um, the switch, which obviously is Atticus's, but I use it. Um, yeah, then we've got that heart up there, which I still love. That's from Urban Outfitters. Let me come around here. This gorgeous dressing table. Hi again. Um, Urban Outfitters. And my stall was originally, when I back ordered my stall, was meant to come in July. I got an email saying it was coming in August. Okay. Then I got another email this morning. It's coming in September. So will I ever get the stall? I hope so, because I paid for it. Um, but yeah, so we're waiting on the stall. But it's my dressing table. The perfumes, then, like I said, we have another one of these tables down here. The lamps also were for B&M. Um, this, which I absolutely love, is empty already. Um, so I'm going to refill that. I'm not going to get a new one there to fill. I'm going to get refill that because I absolutely love that one. Um, then we've got a vase of fake flowers here. These little mirrors, um, wardrobes. I'll show you the these curtains. This this um, one was from B yeah from B and M. Um, really thick. Um, it's like a blackout one. Um, there's the garden down there, and there's the park with all the trees. Lovely view. Really lucky here. We've got a great view of the park. Um, really lovely. And it's just lovely to have these doors open when it's like a nice day. So then we come round here, we've got the rug, that was from B&M. We've got the big mirror there. Then just here we've got my, um, it could be an accessory stand, a hat stand, whatever. That was from Primark and it's got all of my bags on it. Um, just there. Then we've got a windowsill here with my candle holder. They actually, um, I got that from Primark, but I saw the other day they actually do these in white now. And they're lovely. Um... All my crystals then round here we have this little um, mirror this is also if you go to Matalan's at the moment I paid full price for this but this is half price as well at the moment Matalan that is then we have this little shelf down here where I keep some jewelry um, the shelf was from Tesco um, so yeah that is my bedroom then obviously I've got an ensuite which is over here um so here's the little ensuite again um the mirror was from b and um these little drawers which i keep more toiletries and bits in were from aldi um sink obviously shower cap <laughs> um toilet this toilet seat didn't need replacing this one has remained stable um but when it does i'll probably get a wooden one um them shelves up there which Anna bought I've kept them up there and put some plants in and obviously we've got the shower and uh, another bath mat and that was from B&M also so that's the ensuite we'll make our way back downstairs now it's a it's a pretty big house to keep clean I have to say um it's things like this it it, it gets really dusty I mean you know, I give these a good, like, do once a week, um, especially these, and all the dust gets in there, and it it's a big house to keep clean, but it, as long as you keep on top of it, it's absolutely fine. So, yeah, that is my house tour. So that was my home. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe found a little bit of inspiration. If you love wicker, you've come to the right place. Um, yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon for another video. Bye.